Hi friends, it's Marissa, the Disney nurse here, and Eliana, my little behind the scenes helper today. So, in an effort Hi. to be a little more on top of things for Christmas, Vlogmas, for me it'll be Unboxmas again. If you guys followed along last year, I did Unboxmas. Um, so that is again what I'm going to be doing this year. But as I was saying, in an effort to be more proactive and just upload consistently like I wanted to for um, Spooktober, I am going to be pre-filming a bunch of videos for Unboxmas so that I can be sure to have them out on time for you guys. That is my goal, okay? <laughs> so for Unboxmas, I will be uploading I think like every few days, like every third day again, um, just because just trying to do it every day I just I can't with my work schedule um, most of you guys that have been following along know that I am a labor and delivery nurse I work nights especially She's now that Disney those nurse. especially now that those COVID babies are coming out we're just like crazy busy so um, with that said this month coming you guys will see unboxings from circa 1955 I ordered three boxes from them which I have sitting to be unboxed I have their experience box coming. I have a Bibbidi box coming. Um, on top of that, I have two mystery pin unboxings themed to the holidays that I'm so excited about and a couple of other little unboxings thrown in there. So I am so, so excited about the lineup this year. Um, I just have a whole lot planned out and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Some amazing, amazing items. Um, but for today's video, this is one of the three boxes that I ordered from circa 1955. And this is actually the first box that I got in the mail. I got another two in the mail, I think yesterday morning when I got off of work. And um, I don't know which is which. I ordered like, I think their eat, drink, and be merry box. Of course their experience box is coming later. Shoot, I got two other things and I can't remember what they were, but because I got this one first, I'm just going to unbox this one and show you guys. So, upon opening the box, I saw this, and if you guys are not familiar with Circa 1955, I will leave their um, website linked below so that you guys can go check it out. I'll also leave linked my um, Circa 1955 unboxing playlist so that you guys can go and check that out. I got my first box was their October Halloween experience box and then the second box I got was the um, like one time kidnap the holidays box themed to Nightmare Before Christmas and it was amazing. So if you guys have seen those and other people's unboxings you guys know that Circa 1955 Nicole and everybody behind it just does such an amazing job. Nicole hand wraps every order and like I wish I had her wrapping skills so um, if you guys are not familiar definitely go check out that playlist so you can see what circa 1955 is about what they do um, but upon opening this box I saw some super super cute plaid tissue paper and then when you open it up there is a little envelope and it has my name on it and I just love these stickers that is one thing that I will constantly talk about next to the wrapping and the packaging is the stickers. Um, and then underneath here, we have three wrapped packages plus a little bubble wrap package here. Um, and this, let me see if you guys can see this. This little tag here, okay, first of all, peep the gorgeous wrapping paper. Um, this one says drink. So that is making me think that this is the Eat, Drink, and Be Merry box, but we will find out together. Eliana is going to pull the items out of the box in just a minute and pass them to me. First, I'm going to open this little card. Usually the card insert kind of tells you what is in the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this. I'm so excited. Circa 1955 unboxings are my absolute favorite thing to unbox probably ever. So I have this opened. I'm going to pull out, oops, pull out the card. I just can't get over this. Okay, how cute is this? Isn't that cute, Mama? Mickey Santa. Uh huh. That is adorable. Like she. Like I said, she. No detail is spared here. Nicole goes above and beyond. Okay, so this is the Eat, Drink, and Be Merry box. I was right. So this says, from our family to yours, may your holiday season be merry and bright. 
So eat, drink, and be merry. We curated this fun box to celebrate families during the holidays and the fun traditions we all partake in. May the context... May, let's start again. May the contents within invoke the playful Disney spirit we've all come to enjoy while celebrating the Christmas season. Marissa, you're truly the best. XOXO Nicole. <laughs> Guys, I have written Nicole so many times just to let her know how amazing the boxes are. And she just... She's just wonderful. They... <laughs> I, I just, I have no words. She is so quick to reply, so if you ever have a concern or question on Instagram, follow at Circa1955. So quick to reply and just so okay, wonderful, Buttercup. wonderful. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of the card real quick because, like I said, again, no detail is spared. And if you guys have been following along, if not, um, I am a pack rat, so I keep everything because I somehow find meaning in every little thing, which... Is it healthy? Probably not, because I am now a hoarder too. I shouldn't say now, I've always been. Um, I know which one So I we are going to get into the first one. It is this little package here. And this one, like I said, does not have a box. So I'm gonna have to go back and read the description because I didn't know with the Kidnap the Holidays box that the whole description of what was in the box was on there. Um, I was just click and buy happy, so I just bought it. Um, so I will just unwrap this one. It's just in its own separate container, so I don't know if this was just an additional one. Ooh, this candle is cold and has been sitting in my car. So this says, eat, drink, and be merry, Main Street candy cane, and guys, I can already smell the peppermint. It smells amazing. Smell it? Uh, I want to eat candy cane. Oh, this smells so good. And you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's how cold the um, tin is because it's been sitting in my car. It is freezing. So, again, the packaging, I'm going to show you guys and this the front here. Is so cool. Eat, drink, and be merry. Main Street candy cane. Okay, so I'm it going makes to... makes me be hungry of candy cane. Yeah. Okay, so this next one, I'm going to show you guys the packaging. This is the one that I showed you guys that said drink with a little Mickey head here. Seriously, she layers and cuts like all of these pieces. Um, so the amount of time and effort that goes into these just, I mean, it just adds incredible value to these boxes. So we have some really cute reindeer ribbon here. And I'm also going to keep the ribbon. Will I use it i don't know probably not but yeah it's just too cute yes, to so cute. toss out and then i'm gonna put this actually in my yeah. little envelope so i can keep that too so like i said if i could just be a perfect wrapper like nicole is i think my christmas presents would look just extra beautiful so i have no hope of saving this paper even though it is incredibly incredibly great great <laughs> incredibly great quality um but I just know that it's going to end up getting ripped anyway. I'm so excited. I forget what comes in this set. So this is the sticker that we have here. It is Mickey and the Little Truck, which is actually a part of the um, label here. And I actually heard that there is a way you can undo the bottom so you don't mess up the sticker. So I am trying this out for the first time. And we're going to pull it out just like this and see what this one is. <gasps> this is a mug. Oh my goodness, this is a big mug too. It says Merry Christmas on both sides. And this is a, again, huge mug. And it's plaid and I absolutely love it. So there are some hot chocolate packets and I actually really love this hot chocolate. So we have mint. French Vanilla, which I'm sure my husband will take over, and Chocolate Supreme. So, three different packets to try. Um, and this is actually perfect. We started watching The Grinch last night, so maybe we will um, heat up some of this hot chocolate and drink it tonight as we finish The Grinch. So, I will set this um, in this little box. Set my bubble wrap aside. And Eliana is passing me another box, and this one says, Eat. So, I wonder if this is an indication that this yeah. is, like... A sweet treat this might be the eat portion of this box oh guys I actually did really good at not ripping this paper 
Let's see if I can do it again on this side. Um, oh, maybe. I think I did. Let's see if I can slide this out here. Nope, maybe not. It was too good to be true. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. So I'll pass the wrapping paper to Eliana. And this sticker, oh my goodness, it says Ho Ho Ho. Like so. How cute. With candy canes. Mm hmm just like Santa. So I'm gonna do the same thing and open the box from the bottom. I forget, but somebody told me, I think on my last um, Circa 1955, maybe the Kidnap the Holidays box video that um, you could open it from the bottom. So shout out to whoever that was, I forget. Um, but you are a lifesaver. Oh yes, it is. Okay, so I'll set the box aside. We have a little bag of some sweet treats. So we have some yeah. Dove dark chocolate yum, some candy cane, and we have a couple of um, cookie cutters in here. I don't want to pull it out because it's all so cute. You know what? I'll pull it out. What am I talking about? Um, trash. So like I said, in addition to the chocolate and candy canes in here, we have some cookie cutters, which is just a perfect addition. I will set the eat package aside, and we do have a few extra items in here. Um, I think this is another one of their candle mats um, that I didn't know at first with the last box. On one side, it just says like joy, bake, gingerbread, and it has circa 1955, circa mom's crafts. And on the other side, we have Mickey and Minnie. I love this. And I think that this is like a, um, like a cozy, you know, like, um, not like a cup holder, but the things when you have a hot drink to keep it from burning your hands. I forget what it's called. I'll probably find out somewhere. Um, it's a cover. But we have Mickey all around Mickey and Minnie and then it is like attached by buttons so you can unhook it and put it around your drink so making it like adjustable to fit whatever size oh yeah I think this was supposed to go just like this to show you what it's for so one of those drink holders when the contents are hot <laughs> somebody help me out down in the comments what it's called so just like the October experience box we have, and I think also maybe in my Kidnap the Holidays box, I forget now, we have four recipe cards. So we have sugar cookies with some cute little pictures there. Minnie's hot cocoa. Ooh, we're gonna have to try some homemade hot cocoa. Um, Grand Floridian gingerbread cookies. Ooh, I don't think I've ever made gingerbread cookies. And then to go with the sugar cookies, we have sugar cookie icing. So that, I'm so excited. I love getting just like the extra touches, like the recipe cards. Um, and I mean, of course, they're themed to Disney. So I love that. The last wrapped package in this box is Mary. So I'll go ahead and untie the ribbon on this one. And I think I just want to keep this for my own Christmas presents. Maybe I can use it. Uh -huh. Maybe I will use it. I don't know. We'll see. This one I think has the candles. It definitely is a heavier um, package. So, and this wrapping paper is gorgeous. I love it. So we again have the Mickey with the Santa hat. So I'm going to open it from the bottom. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'll go on to um, the Circa 1955 website and let you guys know what it says on, oh, I almost dropped all that, what it says on the website. Okay, ooh, I smell so much goodness right now. And these tins are freezing too. So eat, drink, and be merry. We have Gingerbread House. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to burn this one. Smell that one. Ah, mm. uh, it feels like cookies. Mm-hmm, gingerbread cookies. So again, all of these have the um, same little sticker just with the different names on them. Mary? This one, eat, drink, and be merry. This one says Grand Cranberry Scones. Oh, oh my goodness. This makes me just, 
Oh, this makes my mouth water. It makes me really thirsty. It's like um, just like a sweet drink, and it sounds so good right now. Oh, my hair is looking crazy. Oh, that's that's what happens when you go to bed with your hair wet. Oh, this one smells so, so good. That makes me feel like I want to drink juice like mm -hmm. that. And this one is Minnie's Hot Cocoa, and guys, I can already smell the chocolate. Oh, yeah, that's like the recipe. Oh, my gosh. Now we're just going to go have to make Minnie's Hot Cocoa. Doesn't that smell yummy? I want to drink it. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go to the Circa 1955 website, and I'm going to... Um, let you guys know how much this box was if it's still up on their site. So this box was $99.99, which is an amazing value. So there were only 25 of this box available. So this box included four large candle tins. So this one was just packaged separately. Um, let's see, two Mickey head cookie cutters along with the cookie and icing recipes. A large round hot pad and candle mat and then to go cup cozy and um, the mug filled with goodies. So I love getting these themed boxes. Not only do you get the candles, but you do get some little extra items which are so practical and perfect. I love it. Um, I love that I now have like Halloween themed candles from my other two boxes and now I have Christmas themed candles and like I said you guys I do have three other unboxings coming from circa 1955 which will of course all be like Christmas themed scents so I'm super excited to share those with you guys if you are not already subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any any videos from Unboxmas. Like I said, a lot of just fun Christmas holiday stuff coming your guys' way. Um, let me know down below what you thought of this box. Um, if you're subscribed to Circa 1955, let me know too. I just wanted to hear your guys' thoughts, so definitely let me know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. I'll be seeing you very soon in my next video for Unboxmas. Bye, guys.